violent extremism, radicalization, banditry, cross-border conflicts, political instigated violence, and natural resource-based conflicts are a major security concern that have proved to be a hydra-headed challenge that does not have one simple solution. In most cases, it has resulted in the loss of thousands of lives, as well as in destruction of property and loss of livelihood opportunities. This is Mombasa, the second largest city in Kenya after Nairobi and home to many youth. Like in many cities worldwide, urbanization and unemployment hit hard at the core of young lives and hence the increase in criminal activity. Act, with support from the Royal Danish Embassy, has been implementing the peace, security and stability programs in 10 counties. Counties of greater need in peace building and harmony are Mombasa, Kwale, Kilifi, Kisumu, West Pokot, Kericho, Laikipia, Isiolo, Garissa and Nairobi. Peace, Security and Stability program is a very unique design program that builds on an integrated approach that tries to address three types of conflicts. That is political conflicts, especially around governance and during elections. Uh, we're also working to address issues around countering violent extremism um, in the north, uh, east and at the coast. And we're also working to address natural resource-based conflicts. Uh, that's where we find us working in places like West Pokot and Isiolo. The PSS program actually, one of its objectives is to support local Kenyan organizations to become uh, champions for peace and security. And uh, what we've done with the ACT is basically to support these organizations through granting them uh, with funds, but also building their capacity capacities, whether it's through organizational development, whether it's through training them on how to actually implement the programs. Uh, and I think this is, has been one of the greatest uh, strengths for this partnership. We are very happy with the partnership we have with ACT and through ACT with a number of uh, both uh, government institutions and uh, civil society organizations. Uh, I think especially uh, the work that ACT is doing on uh, preventing uh, radicalization, uh, preventing uh, violent extremism, uh, I think is, is really important. Kenya Muslim Youth Alliance, Kimia, through the Psychosocial Support Initiative, is opening up space for an enabling environment for the youth to maximize their potential in the use of non-violent ways of dealing with conflict in Mombasa and Kwale counties. We have a lot of people who have been able to get rid of the problem, who have been able to get rid of the problem, who have been able to get rid of the problem, who have been able to get rid of the problem. We have been able to get rid of the problem, but we have been able to get rid of the problem. We have been able to get rid of the problem, and we have been able to get rid of the problem. We have been able to get rid of the financial support, financial support from the ISO financial institutions kama banks. Kwa hivyo imewasaidia wao sana kwa sababu wameweza wanatambulika kwanza ile self identity hata pia serikali inawatambua kweli huyu ni mkenya. Away from the coast and on to the western part of the country. Pamoja for transformation is improving community safety and cohesion. The major activities are aimed at preventing and transforming political and criminal violence in Kisumu Central, East and West sub-counties. Uh, we were used to be arrogant people, but nowadays when the Pamoja trans come to our people, say what we to a border border and what we are going to be able to do. 
One, the notable thing we can address is that uh, a rider is being put to, to, to a situation of knowing how he cannot be part of violence and what we can do when violence occurs on, and what we can do to quell it down. When we look at the border border people, sometimes we may look at them as these thugs, but once you interact with them, they give you their background stories, their background information. It's just an employment like another. Ohai Lake Forum has been addressing inter-ethnic conflicts along the Kisumu-Kericho border and the Kisumu-Nandi border. These conflicts are caused by disputed boundaries, cattle rustling, and ethnic incitement by political leaders. Saizi kumetulia, kwa sababu tumefanya mikutano mingi, tumejaribu upenge, tumepunguza mambo ya uwizi, ni kama hiyo imeisha kabisa kwa sababu haionekani sahi na hakuna 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 jambo lolote ambaye imefanyika vibaya kuhusu hiyo uwizi wa ngombe there is peace actually you can notice that one was realized during the post election violence where kisumu was burning everywhere was burning but in katitu in kindu in sondu where was usually very rampant of war was, there was no much violence. It is the responsibility of the government to promote peace. Yes, it is. We use the debate to let them understand by themselves actually what the peace is doing to them in their life and even back at home. I'm seeing these children maybe when they grow up They'll be, able, they'll be able to come up as a very peaceful community. This is Isiolo, in the northeastern part of the country. With a mix of human and natural resources, Isiolo should be the hub of peace. But at times, it has not always been. In such circumstances, the women and children suffer the most. And so the women have decided to be involved in ways to bring lasting peace. They do it through a mobile application. The platform, which is known as M. Jirani, was introduced by Nomadic Women for Sustainable Development, NOSUD, a local NGO based in Isiolo town. It is complementing the existing national government's initiative of Nyumbakumi, a community policing model in ensuring that security interventions are timely and well informed. The, the easiest thing these days is technology. It, it makes it interesting and it makes it, it makes it convenient. We realized at the end of the day it will be very difficult for people to be pushed into physical engagement for security reasons. Inaweza kuwa hutaki kupiga simu na wanaweza kuwa hapa karibu na gate. So tunatumia ile tulifundisha wana Nosud unaandika message unatuma kwa chief chief nae anapiga kwa administration ama police ama kwa county commissioner tunapata usaidizi Isiolo County is one of the hunting grounds by terror organizations for new recruits into local and international terrorism The project targets are risk youth and young single mothers living mostly in the urban areas Initially communities were very scared and abrasive to discuss issues around violent extremism but through our awareness creation, through our interactive sessions, through our community engagements, people are better placed to discuss these issues. I came here in 2016. I came here to help me. I came here to help me. I came here to help me. Then I came here to help me. I came here to help me. So I came here to help me in the future. I came here to help me. I came here to help me. I came here to lunch, I came here to help me. Joni tunatoka pamoja kila mtu akona kitu yake kwa mfuko direct nyumbani unaona hakuna kijana utamwona pale nje amekaa tu hivi amezipa it has improved the situations in the sense that um, yeah, security has improved uh, cases of radicalization uh, violent extremism have also gone down in the recent past Laikipi has been in the limelight largely due to ethnic clashes among the pastoral communities of Laikipia Samburu Isiolo and Baringo. Kufitia hiyo vita yetu ni kufitia mambo ya lishe ya ngombe 
maji arti sababu arti yetu ni kidogo au ni kubwa lakini manduku setu nataka ku ku kumnyanganya sisi wase ya pande yote mbili tumekubaliana tulaani sasa sababu hakuna njia sasa sisi bado tumia na ajasa matunda sisi tukiwa vijana tunaamini hiyo laana ya wase wewe ukienda kutenda kitu ni wewe tu utarudi utaenda tu utende kitu uwe uwawe huko kwa hivyo kutoka hapo kitu ilitulia mpaka saa hizi hakuna kitu iliyaite yapen tena promoting justice and peaceful coexistence in Nairobi so minerek through peace corp a conflict management and peace building arm of the administration police implemented the project in the Nairobi slums with the aim of empowering community members especially the youth on the need for peaceful coexistence after the repeat election and engaging police on the need to employ lawful means when dealing with protesters the role of act has been quite unique because of empowering us as a peace corp particularly our our actors uh, peace monitors to ensure that they uh, understand their role and even their capacity of providing early warning information to my office and uh, to pass the peace message peace corp realized that there are various activities that we can engage with that will engage the young people and also the community as a whole so we had like sports for for peace we had like actually we had a tournament for peace and we also had um one on one engagement by the side shows we'll just walk along the road we get a group of young people we engage them in the dialogue we we try to change their mind that it's not a must that you must fight for you to get something you can just engage in dialogue for you to get it does not necessarily means you have to be violent for you to get what you do because most of the time violence does not bring good it only brings bad the vast plains of masol located within the larger sigor constituency in west pokot county is attractive to those who do not know the ugly secrets of the plains this is a hot spot this area is synonymous with violent banditry the area is rich in pasture and abundant water courtesy of river weiwei and has a great agro pastoralism potential but this has not been exploited because of the sporadic incidents of cattle rustling banditry and perennial savagery Masol borders Turkana South, making it a battleground for Pokot and Turkana warriors. But not anymore, since a group of reformed warriors resorted to champion for peace in the region. We were able to to get in touch with the community along uh, these uh, borders, but on dialogue. Basically, it was dialogue, getting people to talk. Animosities were high, but uh, we had. to bring those tensions down and get people to reason together talk together talk to each other talk to the community talk to the leadership around and see if we can have a success the coastline of malindi in the northern coast is a marvel any time of the year the many tourists who visit this region tell a story of a town endowed in its own beauty and cherished But that is until general elections are called in Kenya. In 2017, a campaign going by the name to Shauriani Wapwani Wote, involving all the stakeholders in peace matters, helped turn around possible violence into peace. All stakeholders ama washikadau wote wanaokaa katika mji wa Malindi. Wote ni muhimu katika swala zima la amani na usalama. Kama tungelikuwa tumechukulia personal as a committee tusingetoboa tukashuhudia tuka tuka kule kuita washikada wote serikali ya kitaifa serikali ya county wazee wa mitaa vijana wafanyabiashara tulikaa sote na tukaona kwamba lazima tuzungumze kama jamii in mombasa the council of imams and preachers of kenya cipk is running to imarishe amani pwani the project seeks to reduce the level of polarization give positive answers to the questions and concerns by the youth and also increase the level of trust and harmony among the youth religious leaders security agencies and other community leaders as a way of reducing the appeal from the extremist or radical preachers and organizations moja ambayo ilimesababisha kidogo hali ya amani patikane ni kutumia majukwaa ya ijumaa kwa maimamu kupeana 
ujumbe ama message ya kisasawa kwa waumini hatari ya kufanya kuondoka amani ambao ndani ya dini pia eleza na fujo matokeo yake ni yapi through preaching through those rallies young people are now beginning to understand instead of now uh, doing you know evil things they are now becoming very positive young people vijana wengi ambao walikuwa labda wanaelekea mahali pabaya wamejaribu kurudi katika njia ya usawa ingawa si wote lakini tunaweza tukasema wengi wao wameweza kurudi katika katika msimamo wa usawa if you mobilize communities organize them properly give them the knowledge and the information they need and link them with the government and other institutions particularly religious leaders as well and build trust and i underline trust because without trust it is not possible for them to to positively relate you can actually significantly improve the the peace and security in the country Jibuli kaja kichwani niwaambi ni hapwani amani ni kama yai wa Kenya tunichungeni amani ni kama yai niwele tu akilini kudhara uhaifai tatutuke mikononi tukajichoma na chai na kusema tuioni amani ni kama yai wa Kenya tulichungeni